What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back again with another 90 day fiance update video. And this one is part two of the Mohammed scandal. As new screenshots have turned up, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, every single person that is a member of Patreon, and every single person that is a subscriber. Now, I won't lie to you, this one right here. I did not enjoy actually reading it, and I'm definitely not going to enjoy reading it again. And um, because at the end of the day, this one is more targeted towards Eve's son, Darren. So all I can say is a disclaimer, proceed with, with caution. It is nothing that is like terribly bad, bad, but it's something that could still potentially trigger certain, certain people, you know, if it's uh, in relation and, and if it's uh, close to home. But hey. Let's get into it. So uh, sit back and uh, try and relax. But hey, here we go. So this one here, of course, is, is provided to us by Mary Pants, and it was re-uploaded also by um, True Crime Junkie. Now, with that being said, the caption at the top begins by saying, "Your kid, no, your kid is not my responsibility." Now, obviously, as you can see at the bottom, ladies and gentlemen. The lady that Mohammed is speaking to starts off by saying, if she charges you rent, she has to split it by three, not two. Because you are not, no, no, because you don't pay the kids part. It's not your responsibility. You know, let's talk about the word responsibility. If you decide to move from Egypt to America and you decide to marry a woman that is in America, of course, that already has a child. If you're not going to tell me that that person's child is not your responsibility, then I don't know what the hell you're doing marrying someone that has a child. It may not necessarily be your 100% responsibility, maybe, I'm not too sure. But the matter of fact, you have a responsibility towards the child. If you don't want to have that responsibility, then don't get in a relationship with someone who's got a child. That is just the grand scheme of it. So to be honest, the person on the other side saying these things is a cruel human being and needs to check themselves. But let's continue. Mohammed responds by saying, yeah, I know. I told her that. Hmm, typical. I'm going, uh, I'm going for now. She is here. Talk to you later with a kiss. Hmm, audacity. Now, in the next screenshot right here, it starts off with a caption up top where he says, Mohammed has expressed on the show much he does not want to watch. Darren, he, he talks some more about that. As you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, it starts off with the young lady or the person he's talking to at least. Asking the question of how old is the kid? Seven, eight. Mohammed responds by saying 13. Today is his birthday. So on the day of the birthday, Mohammed is still doing his madness and talking to another woman behind Eve's back, but also most importantly, talking about the actual child behind the child's back as well as Eve's back. Like, really? Like I said before, don't get in a relationship with someone who's got a child if you're then going to be disrespectful to their child. That one has done nothing towards you. He is just a kid. Hey, and Mohammed claimed that he liked the son at the very first episode. The lies. Now, the lady herself in particular continues by saying, dang, she can just put him into some special needs daycare. Now, I can only imagine she's talking about on a general basis. But boy, <laughs> sometimes in life, you have to know where, 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 to, not, not, where not to cross the line. What has it got to do with you? What Eve wants to do with her child? Do you know Eve? Do you know her son? Didn't think so. Mohammed does though. But hey, he's just a moron. Now Mohammed continues by saying, not till 18. And she says, wrong. They are everywhere. My kids and uh, my friend's kid is 12 and autistic. He is in a special needs daycare from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Well, good for you. I'm happy that your friend has that and your friend has that in place. But again, this is not your place to tell someone X, Y, Z. If she really wants to have this conversation, then she should be having the conversation with Eve, not Mohammed. If she wants to say, hey, just so you know, if you need help with extra childcare or anything like that, there is a couple of daycares around within the area that I'm sure that your son would love to go to and they would love to have him. And therefore, that can help you both, um, you know, obviously with childcare. But no. It's a conversation of basically trying to insult Eve's way of parenting, which. Hmm. Let's continue. Obviously, this person uh, finishes off by saying, but who cares? 
Miami responds by saying, exactly, it's her kid. I don't care what she wants to do. And it's quite sad that he doesn't care about what, what she wants to do, what, what he wants to do with her own son, because at the end of the day, it is important to at least give Eve some feedback or to give her some ideas. So if he's gone off and got this information right here, instead of saying that I don't care what she does with her kid, he could just go and say, listen, did you know that there was actually some around here? I mean, I don't know how he's going to get away with saying it without justifying how he, how he knows the information, but uh, rather than saying that he doesn't care neither, so then why are you with her then? You know what I mean? You can't be with someone with a child and not care about their child. It's just, it's just not possible. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. But hey, let's continue. You work, so she continues by saying, you work, you pay your rent, and she can take care of her responsibilities. It's interesting, though, because Eve has, is, is having to, or has had to look, she's, ha she's having to look after Mohammed. Mohammed flew over, she's had to pay for all the bills for himself, for his food, for anything else, for his gym, anything he needed, she's had to pay for that. And this interesting human being has the audacity to say that uh, when Mohammed has his own money, he shouldn't have to give her a penny. There's something called financial balance in a relationship. Sometimes in a relationship, one, one, one partner may pay more than the other one at some point, but there's always a way you can finally write it up so it becomes a balance at some point. And clearly, that is something that, well, <laughs> Mohammed has been advised not to do, and obviously, clearly, he has not been doing, which is so sad. Obviously, he responds by saying exactly. She also comes in and says, tell her you are starting from, you are, you are starting from the moving company full time. And when she says, what about the kid? You can always say, he's yours, not mine. Like really telling someone to say something so toxic is beyond me. Continues by saying, I, I bet you already said that. Laughing. And Mammy says, I said it. I said it a lot. <laughs> like the, these two are having a field day. They think this is really funny here. They think that what they're doing is acceptable and it is far from the freaking case. Now in, this, in the next screenshots, the context changed just a little bit, as you can see. Darren is scared, so Eve leaves the leaves her bedroom to tend to him. Sometimes she she will spend the night with him. Uh, Mohammed texts his girlfriend for dark web level sexting. He is not scared of getting caught. So let's read it and see exactly what went down here, ladies and gentlemen. And it seems to me these screenshots right here were quite um, recent. To be, oh no, this is last month. My apologies. Right, so as you can see here, it starts off with the young lady or whoever it is on the other side saying, where are you right now? Mohammed responds by saying in bed. He said on bed, but I'm sure he meant in bed. She comes in and says, oh, and she's in the living room. Mohammed says, she with her kid, but I heard her in the kitchen. The woman responds by saying, well, hopefully she stays there. Mohammed says, I hope so. The woman continues by saying, maybe the kid needs water or something. Mohammed comes in and says, well, I'm not scared. She says, I know, but I don't want you to get upset or get stressed. She's not worth it. Miami responds with, uh, <laughs> "If I don't get my green card, you know, if I do, if I do, no, sorry, if I don't my green card, I have you." I'm sure you mean if I don't get my green card, I have you, which is quite interesting because it brings the question: When he says I have you, does he mean I I'll have you no matter what? So even if I don't get it, mean you can go back to Egypt, or does he mean that if I don't get my green card, that's fine because I can always marry you and get it off you? Which, which is quite interesting because if he can get the green card off of her as a sponsor in XYZ, then why waste time still being with Eve? Why not leave Eve now then and be with this lady? Rather than sitting there, texting her and insulting Eve's son as well as Eve. Get up and go. It's like a no-brainer, right? But um, I guess maybe she can't give him that green card and that's why he's sticking around. But if he doesn't care, well then... I'm gonna go with maybe she can give him a green card, but hey, we'll see. Moving on to the last set of messages here, ladies and gentlemen. It says here, Mohammed begins by saying, I'm almost home. I was in a walk, I was in a walk. She's home today, laughing. But, and then lady comes in and says, but uh, she wants an Egyptian baby. I saw she wrote that somewhere. Be careful. Hopefully you would get a good a, a good dinner a, a good dinner tonight. Probably not Karashi. I'm assuming that's some sort of Egyptian food or plate X Y Z. Obviously, Mohammed says no. She will never have an Egyptian baby in Salah. Inshallah. If I said that wrong, I do apologize. So Mohammed is clearly not having any intentions of having a child with Eve because she's not a Muslim. Clearly, 
Very interesting there. Very, very interesting. And I do wonder though. I do wonder though, because if Eve really does want to have a child, if she wants to have an Egyptian child, it's a looking kind of pig then, isn't it? If Muhammad has no intentions of giving her a child, because he's a user. He responds with a laughing emoji. And she comes in and says, Talk to you late, talk to you, talk to you soon. Be safe. There are people that care about you. Muhammad responds by saying, I hope so, laughing emoji. Ladies and gentlemen, honestly, 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 that was one of the hardest things to read because it's not nice to read something that involves someone talking about someone else's child. Who are you to talk about a child that is not yours? Even if he's yours, you still wouldn't be, you still wouldn't, you still wouldn't want to talk anything negative about your child to someone else regardless. The saddest thing is, that's the saddest thing ever. I mean, would it be different if maybe he was seeking advice? Maybe the conversation was about new ideas of how to help with with, with, with with Eve's son, okay, different conversation, but it wasn't. It was literally a conversation about how he shouldn't be putting a single penny down for um, Eve's child, even though Eve was looking after him. And him just saying, I'm not really scared if I get caught. Hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section, but as far as I'm concerned, I am absolutely disgusted, disturbed. This is whole thing is completely vile and uh, unacceptable. A part of me strongly, strongly, strongly hopes that this whole thing isn't even real. That maybe someone's just creating context for the sake of it. Who knows? But, um, Mohammed, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. But hey, thank you so much for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you're thinking, and we'll talk about it. Like, subscribe, and peace.